Hello guys, welcome back to another shave video. I'm Brian, your host, and today is December 15th on a Saturday, so 10 days till Christmas, and I decided to do a shave video, so I'm going to be using one of these new soaps from the South Floor Wet Shaver Swag Bag. So this came out of the end of the year Bash 2018, and this is made by Oleo Soapworks. It's called Citrus Verde. And I'm very excited about using this soap. This will be my second time using this soap. It's got a very, very unique citrus type scent to it. And I'm very excited about using the Oleo Soap Works. This is my first soap from them, so definitely excited about using this soap. And my razor of choice will be my favorite razor right now, which is the Razor Rock Game Changer with the stainless steel radio knob and also the 0 0.68 head. And I've been getting some great shaves from this razor. Awesome shaves. It's probably surplanted my 34C Mercure as my favorite razor right now. So definitely, definitely a very nice razor. It's just beautifully made. Nice weight. It's got a nice handle on it. I love the handle. And I love the fact that I can change out the handle with my barber pole handle, which is off my uh, Razor Rock self-lubricating open comb razor. So I have the other handle I can just change it up. But I just love this handle. This handle works great with this head. And I just love this razor. So I'm using that. I'm going to be using uh, this blade. Which will be the first use in this razor. Which is a feather uh, high stainless steel blade. So I finally got a pack of these blades from, from one of my friends. Wet Shaver friends. And a little bit... A little bit I was a little bit scared about using this blade because I hear how sharp it is, how aggressive, how you know how it how smooth it's not, you know, for a new wet shaver. So I kind of put my put off using this blade for a while. So I used it for the first time in my Mercury 34C, and it was a great, great blade. The first shave was was excellent, but as the second and third shaves went, I I think I used the blade for about five shaves. It was superb. The second and third shave in particular was superb with this blade. So I'm going to be using this in, my, in the uh, Game Changer for the first time. And I'm going to be using this brush, which is my Yaki Evil Zebra Synthetic Knot Brush. It's got the white synthetic, synthetic, um, synthetic uh, fiber here. And it's just a nice brush. Nice handle. Nice weight. It's got a beautiful, you know, like a beautiful handle with the uh, red and black. And I just love the way this, this knot performs. It's a very nice, got good, decent backbone for a synthetic knot. I like the way it splays. Pretty soft. So definitely, definitely one of my favorite brushes to use right now. So let me go ahead and wash my face. Got about two to three days worth of growth. So I'm definitely ready for a shave. And I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. I just washed my face and I just also use this stuff for a pre-shave, which is Cremo Cream. So I bought this out of curiosity a few, probably a couple years ago when it first came, I think when it came out maybe three years ago. And I didn't, I don't usually use it except for a pre-shave, but this stuff is excellent for a pre-shave. So definitely like using this for my face for a pre-shave, especially when I haven't taken a shower yet. So I just washed my face and I did the, the uh, hot towel on my face, but this stuff works great for pre-shave. So anyway, I'm gonna go, I loaded up my brush with the Citrus Verde. Uh, let me do my first face leather. And right away, nice. Love the scent on this soap. So Vita Velasquez from Oleo Soapworks made this soap for the soft water weight shavers group soap. And this is my first Oleo Soapworks soap with the duck fat base 
and I've been really, really waiting to try this out. So I'm surprised it took me this long to try any of your soaps, but man, nice lather so far. Look at that lather. So when I went to uh, past, Pastor's Pharmacy in J July, I noticed that they had some of the soaps there from Willie Soap Works, and I meant to pick up a few, but just spent too much money up there, too much bought too much product up there, so I didn't pick up her any of her soaps, but definitely, definitely when I start trying more of the Oleo Soap Works soaps. But right away, I can tell, nice lather. Pretty thick lather, too. I use it, I use, this is my second time using this soap. And so far, it's been a great soap. Nice slickness. Easily able to lather. It's a soft, it's a soft soap, so it's not really a, a triple milled soap. It's probably about somewhere in between a triple milled soap and a soft cream type soap. Something like a Razor Rock would make. All right, so that's a nice lather to start with. So this will be my first pass with the Game Changer uh, with the grain, with the feather blade, so. So really, really nice, really nice slickness on this soap, and the scent is amazing. And that's so far, it's one half my face, and the feather blade is really surprisingly, surprisingly smooth in this razor. So I hope everybody's having a good week so far. Hope everybody's enjoying the Christmas season. Not too much involved in the, sh in the uh, retail part of it, the shopping part, but actually enjoying it. So I just did a video on I kind of ran into this uh, Christmas display in Celebration, Florida yesterday. Just kind of heard about it and I just happened to be in the area. I'm a big Disney um, big Disney fan so I love a lot of the uh, Disney parks because my daughter and just as a kid going to the parks and I just love that whole Orlando area just that Disney all the Disney parks but anyway I went to Celebration yesterday which is a a neighborhood it's, it's a community that it's right on the way to Disney right on the way to Kissimmee right off I-4 um, Orlando or Kissimmee and it's a community that was a model community that Disney designed as concept. They designed it. They wanted to make a perfect community, uh, similar to like the good old days where you had the, the where you had the porches on the front of the house. You know, houses like kind of like picturesque uh, neighborhood. You know, where people would be rocking and sitting on the porch, hanging out and talking to the neighbors. with uh, plenty of parks nearby. You know, like a little town square. Just basically a picturesque uh, community from from the back, from the good old days. 
But anyway, they had this street called uh, oh, Jeter's, Jeter's Bend, which they do, like about 11 people do, 11 actually 11 houses on the street. They, they get together and they have this big light show and snow. And it was awesome. I just wanted to check it out. So I went there and uh, wanted to do a video. I shot a video of it. I just happened to kind of come across this place. But it's like a stone's throw from Disney World. So definitely check out my video if you haven't seen it yet. But it's kind of interesting. But anyway, let me do that first rinse. And I kind of cut myself right there. That's kind of a... kind of have a nick from the other day. I kind of reopened. But let me go ahead and rinse my face. And I'll be right back. Alright guys, back to my second pass. And the first pass was pretty, pretty nice, uh, pretty nice smooth, uh, shave with that first pass. Other than the nick I got right here, but other than that, the feather blade and the game changer were pretty smooth combination so far. Yeah, so I managed to open up a nick I had from a couple days ago. Not paying attention what to my shave. Probably a little bit too much talking, but anyway. As I was saying, so Christmas I kinda wanna enjoy you know, enjoy more of the family time instead of the commercial part of it, commercialization part of it. The shopping and so that's one of the things I did this weekend was actually go to see the Christmas lights. Happen to stop at that place in celebration. So Disney doesn't really own that that community anymore. I think I think they said they sold most most of it off to uh, to a different different uh, developer or <clears throat> different um, owner. So, but anyway, they got some. They own, they also have a little town. Square with shops and stuff like that there. It's kind of interesting. So anytime you ever come to Orlando, definitely check it out. Celebration is a cool area. But all right, now going to start with the second pass. I'm going to go against the grain here. Actually, across the grain. Man, it's ready to just shave smooth as butter. Just love the way it shaves. So, hope everybody's having a good week, enjoying the Christmas season. It's been kind of uh, cool here in Florida, off and on. I know much of the Midwest and Southeast, I mean, I'm sorry, Midwest and the Eastern part of the country has been hit by snow and cold weather, but we've been, met, even us been, even us in Tampa have been hit with uh, a little bit of the, the cold front. It's been about early, you know, the high has been about 60s, early 60s, certain days, some days it doesn't even get to, uh, 60, but today it was actually nice. I think today was like the high was 72. So hopefully everybody's staying safe up there. During that cold front, the storms up there. Everybody's driving safe in the snow and the ice. So the scent on this soap is interesting. Uh, the scent notes, I looked them up. They are, I'm gonna read them out to you actually. Uh, grapefruit, orange, basil, vetiver, and sage. So that's a kind of a unique uh, assortment of uh, scents to go, notes with the soap. But man, they worked well together. The soap smells 
very pleasant, nice, nice pleasant uh, orange type scent. I wanted, to, I, I would probably describe it to like a, um, you know, opening up a navel orange. That's how it smells like. There's a little bit of a, uh, I can, I can definitely smell the basil in there. But anyway, let me go ahead and rinse my face, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back for my third pass, which will be against the grain. So the first two passes were excellent. Nice slickness, nice lather. So I heard a lot of good things about um, Oleo Soap Works, the duck fat formulation of soap. And so far it's delivered nicely, nice shave so far. So the scent strength is probably about right in the middle, about a five, as you face lather. Uh, when you open a tub, it's probably like a four, not quite a five. It's definitely more pronounced when you uh, face lather, but let me go ahead and do that last pass against the grain with a money shot, the money pass, as Anthony Esposito would say. So far, so good. I just love these uh, Yaki brushes because they just hold so much lather in the in the bristles. Definitely very underrated brushes for sure. And I noticed they're starting to sell more of them on Amazon, and I believe West Coast Shaving has a has a um, assortment of yaki brushes also. I was watching. Um, uh, D Shave Talk with Kit, and he was talking about, um, he was showing off one of his Yaki brushes the other day in one of his shave videos, and it had a brown synthetic knot, which is kind of interesting, so definitely want to check that one out. But definitely love the knots in these brushes. They're excellent knots, and just a good value, too, also. I think I paid about maybe less than 20 bucks for this brush, and I'm going to say maybe with shit for Probably about 15 with free shipping, so that was very good value. I bought this one from AliExpress, which is on, which is, which is online, and uh, kind of like the. Uh, I want to say it's kind of like the. Asian. Comparable Asian to uh, Amazon. But really good value. That's a nice pass right there. All right, let me go ahead and rinse, guys, and I'll be back with a post shave. All right, guys, I'm back with my post shave. And one thing about this uh, oleo soap is, man, it feels really nice. My face has a nice, just a very nice feel to it. I mean, it's almost like I don't even need aftershave, but just very nice and smooth. I noticed the soap is very slick, so excellent slickness on the soap. Uh, residual slickness is excellent, so definitely, definitely a, definitely a great soap to use for shaving so far. And so post shave, I'm gonna be using the Citrus Verde After Shave by Oleo Soap Works also. So I'm just gonna shake this up, and I believe this is uh, 
an alcohol-based uh, aftershave. So pretty, pretty basic ingredients: alcohol, uh, forty percent distilled water, fragrance, uh, polysorbate. So pretty basic ingredients. Go ahead and use this here. And definitely smell. I can definitely smell the grapefruitness in the aftershave. Probably more so than the soap. Definitely the aftershave uh, has the grapefruit smell in it. All right, take a. Look. Yeah, definitely, definitely smell the grapefruit in the aftershave. Very nice. Wow, definitely feels nice. So anyway, my recap, guys, I use the Oleo Soapworks uh, Citrus Verde, which is made for South Florida Wet Shavers end of the year bash, 2018. So this is a soap that was in a swag bag, and thumbs up, very nice soap, very nice performance. Uh, love the scent. It's got a very, very unique scent. I would probably compare it to like a cross between opening, cutting open a navel orange and mixing some sage with it too also. But definitely, definitely, definitely smell a little bit of basil. So it's definitely a complex scent. And I use my Razor Rock Game Changer brush, I'm um, sorry, Game Changer Razor, Sithy Razor with the 0 0.68 head. And so far, this, this, this head's been a sweet spot for my shaving. So great head, just love the, just love the handle of this razor, just love the way it's built, solid, solid, it's got solid stainless steel uh, marine grade construction. Just love the way that the um, the blade is covered by the uh, top cap, so you don't you don't have the edges of the blade jutting out on the side. So just a very nice shaver. And I use my Yaki brush, which is the Evil Zebra, the white synthetic knot. So just a nice, great brush. And every time I use a Yaki brush, this is a uh, this reminds me of a uh, D. DE Shave Talk with uh, Kit, who's a big fan of the Yaki brushes, so definitely, definitely can see why he loves his brushes. They are excellent brushes. And I just want to put it, a shout out to uh, Kit. I hope you're doing well. Hope everything's work. Hope everything's going okay with your treatments and everything. And you're in my prayers, buddy. So definitely check out his channel. It's called DE Shave Talk with Kit. And lots of great information about wet shavers on there, about wet shaving and lathering. I think one of his last videos was about lathering with, uh, you know, with with a shave scuttle and also uh, never, you know, never wasting the uh, bloom water. Actually, using the, using the, you know, not wasting the lather. So it's kind of interesting video he just had recently. So definitely check him out and use the feather high stainless blade, which is a very excellent blade to use. I uh, used to be scared of these blades, but I'm kind of warming up to them now. Pretty great braid. I mean, pretty nice blade. Not as smooth as a pole silver, but pretty, pretty darn, pretty darn close. I would say probably these are slowly kind of getting into my top ten of blades. So even after using only maybe two, two or three of these blades, but definitely, definitely want to try more of these blades. And recap was I used the Citrus Verde soap. I also used the um, aftershave, which was excellent. And my pre-shave was this stuff here, which is excellent pre-shave. So definitely, if you have this sitting around that being used, you bought it for out of curiosity to see if you can shave with it. It's not a lathering shave cream, but man, it does make an excellent pre-shave. So I'll be using it for that. And other than that, that's my shave, guys, and I'll be doing some more shaves uh, shortly and hopefully some more videos this week. I know it's been a while since I did a last shave video, but hopefully I'll do another one uh, probably in a few days. But I'll probably post this either today, tonight or tomorrow, but thanks for watching, guys. And if you like my shave videos, just hit the like button down and subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Take care. Have a nice week.